Edda, A Little Valkyrie's First Day of School by Adam Auerbach. Edda is the littlest Valkyrie. She lives in Asgard, a land full of magic and adventure. Edda's papa and her big sisters watch over all of Asgard. Sometimes Edda helps them search the land for unruly monsters. But Edda doesn't want to only find monsters. During her writing lessons, Edda's thoughts are far away. Papa, she says, I want to find someone my own age. Thankfully, her papa is very wise. He knows of a place where she can meet other kids. The next day, Edda and her papa fly all the way to Earth for the first day of school. Edda has never been away from Asgard. Don't worry, her papa says. Valkyries are very brave. Even little Valkyries? Ask Edda. <laughs> yes, even little Valkyries, says Papa. The classroom is full of new faces. Edda waits for someone to say hello, but no one does. She wishes she were back home in Asgard. In Asgard, Edda can do what she wants and go where she pleases. In school, she's expected to sit still. When she doesn't, she gets a timeout. In Asgard, each meal is a feast and everyone shares. In school, no one wants to make a trade. In Asgard, no one stands in Edda's way. In school, she has to wait in line. In Asgard, there are many amazing creatures. At school, there is only Rex. And at school, there are writing assignments. Edda decides to draw a picture instead, but her teacher says she has to write something in her journal. Writing is hard work. Edda starts to daydream about being back home in Asgard. Then she has an idea. She writes and writes until her teacher calls on her. My story is about a magical place called Asgard, Edda begins. She tells a tale of danger, bravery, victory, and forgiveness. Edda's story is a big hit. Everyone wants to learn more about her life in Asgard. When Edda's papa picks her up after school, he picks up one of her friends, too. Together, they fly back to Asgard. Edda and her new friend tell the creatures of Asgard all about the first day of school. Some of the creatures think it sounds wonderful. The next day, Edda brings a surprise along. School looks so different from Asgard, whispers the dragon. Don't worry, says Edda. Dragons are very brave. Thank you so much for reading and watching. Have a wonderful day.